Hey, welcome back. How you all doing? Hope you're all well. I'll give you a quick rundown of what we did yesterday. We only did a couple of bits, but I'll quickly show you what we did yesterday. And then we're going to get on with sorting out the insides. So we've got to insulate first yeah. and then get on with some wood cladding. So hopefully it. we can get all the cladding done today. That's the plan. We always say this and we never do, but that is the plan. And I, I'm not stopping today until it's done. I want, I just want it in. So let me give you a quick rundown of what we actually did yesterday. All right, so this is what we did last night. We didn't when it was dark, so we didn't do any recording, but we fitted our 4G antenna. So it's literally just two holes in the roof with grommets in and Sikaflex on them, like that. Um, I'm just going to test them now to make sure they're watertight with a jug of water. Um, and then it's just cable tied along that beam and then cable tied over there. Um, we might end up taking it off there, then when we've done the decking bit, we'll screw it onto the decking. Um, but for the time being, that's where it's staying. So let me test this. Hopefully this is watertight, it should be. Ooh. And then uh, we'll get inside the van and crack on in there. All right, so I've just poured that jug of water over and there is nothing in here um nothing coming through ropes that's good yeah we were a bit worried because we saw a bit of like some wet marks on the floor i don't know mm. i don't think they're probably wet marks they're probably just stains from the glue or something we've been using so we're a bit paranoid and we're always paranoid whenever we make a hole because uh yeah it's quite scary and you don't want water leaking in your van so now it's time to do the roof which is really exciting and i've been looking forward to doing this for a while we're going to do it the same way that we did the sides which is the wool insulation um with spray glue and then this on top when we wake Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Alright, so we've actually ran out of this uh, recycled plastic wool insulation, and it's Sunday. Um, BQ shut soon, but the one savior is we have leftover 25mm Celotex that we use for the flooring. Um, so we're going to go find that and then hopefully that works. Yes, because it's really annoying because if you have a look and it shows you, we only have two little bits. We have this bit here and this bit over here. So it's not much. So we don't actually need like a whole roll. So we don't yeah. need much. So it'd be actually good to use that Certex and actually instead of spending more money using something we've already got anyway. So let's go find that and then just shove that up there. Because um, it's insulation, it'll do the job and then we can crack on with putting the silver foil over this. You and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have that's... So our spaceship is complete. We've got all the insulation in and this up. Wasn't actually too much of a bad job to do, quite easy to do, just a bit tedious and like hard because you've got to like have your hands above your head. But we managed to do it and it's easier with two of us. Now all we've got to do is get some beams, there's like some beams in the roof, we've made some marks. Um, we're going to put some of these like this, we did on the side, put them over so we have something to screw into and some of the roof is a bit like higher than we want it to be. So it actually brings the roof down as well. But we're going to first go in for a cup of tea and warm ourselves up and then we'll get on with that. <laughs> So that's it for today. We've got these beams in, we've got the roof insulated and sealed up, and um, we're going to call it there. Tomorrow, we're going to get on with starting to like frame out, not frame out, but starting to like put our support beams in for our cabinets. We're going to have one cabinet over there above the kitchen, and we're going to have one cabinet over here above the bed, and we're going to do that at the same time we're doing the cladding. So tomorrow's task is do the cladding mainly and then put in a couple of support beams for when we actually start building the cabinets. Um, but we're going to end it here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.